Two years ago we bought our cottage and eight acres in the west of Ireland with dreams of starting a homestead. Full of dewy-eyed enthusiasm, we spent the first year setting up and settling in. We made base camp in the original cottage, whilst working on some infrastructure. A compost loo for obvious reasons, a polytunnel to help us on the way to self-sufficiency. A workshop because there is no guarantee on the weather in the Wild West. We also planted 2,000 trees, welcomed two pygmy goats and adopted a sheep so we would eventually have our own wool. If you want to see the rest of year one then check out our one year what we built video. Anyway, after a summer solstice gathering celebrating a year on the land, year two began and it starts with building the deck for our yurt which is our current home. After countless drawings I settled on a final layout and began setting out my post foundation locations, which was a bit tricky as the site was on a bit of a slope. I then knocked up 12 concrete forms out of some old scrap wood that I had lying around and then got to work. With the post for the yurt deck secured into place, my friend Keith paid me a well-timed visit and we got to work fitting the joists. Starting to look a little bit like a yurt deck now. Got Annie and Betsy over here surveying the site, making sure that me and Keith aren't getting anything wrong. It's very handy having an extra pair of hands to get this kind of thing done. And uh, also gives me someone to blame if it goes wrong, Keith. <laughs> Don't get much better than that, does it? Oh yes, and I nearly forgot to introduce you at this point to Copper and Rascal, our two Cooney Cooney pigs. Sit, 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 good girl. Sit, sit Rascal. Girls. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it is. Oink, oink, oink. Are you come to? It's like she's coming to show it me. Yeah, she. They always. Do. She's always like really proud of getting watermelon. Are you proud of getting watermelon? Anyway, back to the yurt build. Unfortunately, Keith couldn't stay forever, so I was back on finishing the yurt deck, making the most of the beautiful sunshine.
With the insulation in the floor we could move on to fitting the floorboards and finally building our new home. I had the kids on hand though to speed me up and get this thing done. platform completed we were very excited to put up the yurt. It was a race against time though as a thunderstorm was on the way. Luckily we had good friends around us to lend a helping hand for the final push. It is time! Another dream realised. Today's the day to put up the yurt. <laughs> okay. you got to love the different energy that Annie brings to the vlog, wouldn't you? Already? Yeah. Yeah, there's water starting to come in underneath these doors. Just in the nick of time, the massive thunderstorm, and it's not quite finished, but it's as good as the water is staying out, the deck is staying dry. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a tour. We're celebrating anyway. <laughs> it felt like a huge milestone hit getting the yurt up, and a dream of Annie's accomplished. It's a truly beautiful space to be in. We were not quite ready at this stage though to move in. That's for when we ripped the roof off the cottage. But before that, I got building a round wood timber frame lean-to on my cow shed for storing all our firewood. 
I'd already poured the footings with my friend Ben a few weeks previous in the same way I did the Erts. I always enjoy the challenge of roundwood framing. Aesthetically, I think it's worth the extra effort. What do you think? The time had finally come to move into the yurt and set up home. Against all the very good advice about not taking a roof off at this time of year in Ireland, we decided to do it anyway, battling through the elements with Annie's dad Rory giving me a crash course in roofing. Where would you get a guy like this? <laughs> <laughs> what a dad! Hello!
After kindly giving Rory the weekend off, he returned with a few old roll top ridge tiles to replace the broken ones and we were on the home straight. It's worth pointing out at this point if it's not obvious that Rory is a complete legend. So that's most of the big projects achieved over the past year, but that's not all we did. We took loan of horses at the worst time of year, but it was great really. Went off grid in the yurt, stripped out the loft ready for insulation, procrastinated. More stripping of the upstairs, kept our animals happy through the winter, planted an orchard, built Betsy an electric go-kart, chopped firewood, had a snowball fight, Learnt apple grafting from the master, Tom Barry. Built a mobile chicken coop with an automatic door. Fitted a two post lift in my workshop. Filled lots of potholes. Grew loads of veg and much, much more. If you've enjoyed this video, then feel free to check out my old vids in full and subscribe for new videos. Who knows what we'll get done this year, but I'm sure it's going to be an adventure.